Hi, good morning. My name is Ramesh H.G. Working as assistant professor of mathematics, government first year college, uh, Tiptur. Today I am going to explain how to solve the first order linear partial differential equations. So in the previous classes, I also I already explained the method of finding a linear first order linear differential first order partial differential equations. It's called as a Lagrange's equation. So what you if you come to working rule for finding the solution of a partial differential equation, first you compare the given equation with the standard equation capital P into P capital Q into Q is equal to R. So first you write what is capital P, what is capital Q and what is capital R. Then you write the auxiliary equation which is given by dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r. So this we call it as auxiliary equation dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r. And also first you know what is p, q and r. Then you solve this equation by any one method that is by grouping method or by multipliers method so you may solve by any one method or any two applying both the methods for the given problem suppose you and we are two solutions of the given equation then you write phi of u comma v is equal to zero with the uh, general solution of the given partial differential equation so i already solved uh, four problems in the previous classes so next we have solved the equation zx p plus yz q is equal to x y zx p plus yz q is equal to x y so you compare the equation with the standard equation so what is p p is zx what is q yz what is r x y so value of p is zx value of q is yz value of r is x y so you write the auxiliary equation first. What is the auxiliary equation? How to write the auxiliary equation? So dx divided by p is equal to dy divided by q is equal to dz divided by r. This is the auxiliary equation. So once again, auxiliary equation is dx divided by p is equal to dy divided by q is equal to dz divided by r. So you observe the equation. How to solve this equation? So you take dx divided by zx and divide divided by yz. So in these two terms, we may cancel zz. So that is observation. dx divided by zx is equal to dy divided by yz. So you may cancel z on both sides. Then we get the equation as dx divided by x is equal to dy divided by y. So clearly you see that this is a variable separable differential equation. Once you got the variable separable differential equation, the, on integrating both sides we have integration of dx by x is equal to integration of dy by y plus log c1. So what is integration of 1 by x is log x is equal to what is integration of 1 by y is log y plus log of c1. This implies x by y is equal to c1 log y minus log log x minus log y is equal to log of c1. So log of x by y is equal to log c1 cancel log on both sides x by y is equal to c1 so this is one solution this is one solution again consider first again consider second and third term so dy by yz is equal to dz by xy dx by yz is equal to dz by xz Or this implies dy by xz is equal to dz by x, dz by x.
dx by y z is equal to uh, dz by x y. This implies dy by x z is equal to dz by x or dy by z is equal to dy by z. So you consider second and third term. Second and third term. So what is second term is? dy by yz is equal to dz by xy xy so you cancel y on both sides so dy by z is equal to dz by c1 into y so since c1 is so what is c1 is x by y x by y c1 is x by y so therefore dy by z is equal to dz by c1 into y this implies so it becomes a variable separable differential equation c1 into y into dy is equal to z dz c1 into y into dy is equal to z into dz so once this is variable separable differential equation on integrating on integrating we have integration of c1 y dy is equal to integration of z dz so this is c1 y square by 2 is equal to z square by 2 plus c2 by 2. So you cancel c2 on both sides and you substitute the value of c1 as x by y. So this is uh, y y cancel x y minus z square plus c2 or x y minus z square is equal to c2. This is the second solution of the given differential equation. Therefore the solution of the equation is x square minus z square is equal to f of x comma y or x y minus z square comma or phi of or phi of x y minus z square comma x by y is equal to 0 this is the solution of the given differential equation so in this way we can find the solution of a partial differential equation by applying a multipliers or by applying grouping Next, solve the differential equation. x square into dou z by dou x plus y square into dou z by dou y is equal to x plus y into z. So, you compare this equation with the standard equation. So, that is uh, p into p plus q into q is equal to r. So, capital P is equal to x square. Capital Q is equal to y square. Capital Z R is equal to X plus Y into Z. So you compare first equation. So P is equal to X square, Q is equal to Y square and capital R is equal to X plus Y into Z. The given equation is the given equation is X square P plus Y square Q is equal to X plus Y into Z. Given equation. Then you write the auxiliary equation. So what are the auxiliary equations are? dx divided by capital P is equal to dy divided by capital Q is equal to dz divided by capital R. So dx divided by capital P is x square is equal to dy by y square is equal to dz by x plus y into z. So you observe the equation, axial equation. So you may take first and second term here. You may take first and a second term. It can be easily integrable or it can be easily solvable. So dx by x square is equal to dy by y square. So on integrating, so this is a variable separable differential equation. Easily we can see is a variable separable differential equation. On integrating dx divided by x square is equal to dy divided by y square. So this is minus 1 by x is equal to minus 1 by y on integrating we have minus 1 by x is equal to minus 1 by y or 1 by x minus 1 by y is equal to c1 this is the solution of the first uh, this is the first solution of the given partial differential equation so in this way we can find a one solution by grouping and other solution is also by grouping or multipliers that is you have to check so you may apply multipliers or you may apply grouping huh? that's all we have to find the two solutions first solution is obtained 1 by x minus 1 by y is equal to c1 
the equation one can be written as you observe the equation equation one can be written as dx divided by x square so you see the equation one dx divided by x square is equal to dy divided by y square is equal to dz divided by x plus y into z so this equation can be written as dx divided by x by x dy divided by y by y is equal to dz divided by z by x plus y is equal to is equal to you take multiplier says multiplier says 1 1 and a minus 1 you take multiplier says 1 1 and a minus 1 so dx by x 1 into dx by x plus 1 into dy by y minus 1 into dz by z divided by 1 into x plus 1 into y minus 1 into x plus y so this becomes denominator becomes zero so this is the way of finding uh, multipliers so here we have multipliers as 1 1 and uh, minus 1 so this equation is equal to 1 into dx by x plus 1 into dy by y minus 1 into dz by z all divided by 1 into x plus 1 into y minus x plus y so denominator becomes zero therefore dx by x plus dy by y minus dz by z is equal to zero once uh, we got uh, uh, denominator becomes zero then the numerator becomes zero is equal to zero in equated to zero on integrating we have on integrating we have log x plus log y minus log z log x plus log y minus log z is equal to log of c2 or on simplification xy divided by z is equal to c2 this is the solution of the u differential equation so we have in this problem we have first uh, solution is obtained by grouping method by taking first and the second term dx by x square is equal to dy by y square it is very easy on integrating so 1 by x square is minus 1 by x and 1 by y square is minus 1 by y on simplifying we got 1 by x minus 1 by y is equal to c1 this is one solution and next solution is obtained by next solution is obtained by the equation one can be written as here you write the modify the equation dx by x by x is equal to dy by y by y is equal to dz by z by x plus y so the equation one is modified then you take the multipliers as 1 1 and minus 1 so how okay, can write the axial equation once again so d 1 into dx by x plus 1 into dy by y minus 1 into dz by z whole divided by you know, 1 into x plus 1 into y minus 1 into x plus y so that the denominator becomes 0 then the equation becomes dx by x plus dy by y minus dz by z is equal to 0 on integrating we have log x plus log y minus log z is equal to log of c2 on log m plus log n is log m n so x y by z is equal to c2 this is the solution so how to write the solution x y by z is equal to phi of 1 by x minus 1 by y this is the solution of the uh, given equation given partial differential equation so in this way we can find the solution of a partial differential equation of first order linear linear partial differential equation next problem is solve the differential equation solve the differential equation so solve the equation y minus z by y z into p plus z minus x by z x into q is equal to x minus y by x y so you observe the given equation so you have to simplify first this equation what to do is multiply the given equation by x y z on both sides multiply the given equation by x y z on both sides then the given equation becomes so when you multiply the equation by x y z first term y z y z cancel x is remain 
so x into y z y minus z into p if you multiply the second term by x y z we have z x z x become cancelled and y into z minus x into q and if you multiply the third third term by x y z x y x y cancel z into x minus y so this is the given differential equation so in this way we can modify the given differential equation by or reducing the given equation by multiplying the given equation on both sides by x into y into z so this reduces to the equation x into y minus z p plus y into z minus x into q is equal to x minus y into z so this can be solved easily by applying the uh, multipliers or grouping so first then you write then you compare this equation with the standard equation p into p plus q into q is equal to r <coughs> so what is the value of p is p is x into y minus z what is value of q is uh, y into z minus x what is value of r is x minus y into z so you compare this equation with the standard equation and you write the equation as uh, p is equal to x into y minus z and q is equal to y into z minus x and q is r is equal to x minus y into z once you write the values of p q and r we have we have write the auxiliary equation as dx divided by p is equal to dy divided by q is equal to dz divided by r next how to solve this equation is you, you, you see that by applying grouping method is not applicable here we cannot uh, find the solution it is better to write the multipliers so you take one 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 as multipliers then each ratio become then the ratio become each ratio is equal to so one into dx plus one into dy plus one into dz one into dx plus one into dy plus one into dz divided by 1 into x into y minus z plus 1 into y into z minus x plus 1 into z into x minus y. So, you have to uh, uh, multiply the uh, each term by 1, 1, 1 and add. Multiply the each term in the denominator by 1, 1, 1 and add. That is uh, the method of multipliers. So, the given equation is dx plus dy plus dz divided by so you multiply x y minus x z plus y z minus y x plus z x minus x y z y so you observe x x cancel x z cancel y z cancel all the terms get cancelled so dx plus dy plus dz divided by zero once you get the zero then it is easy to write the numerator is equal to zero you read the numerator is equal to 0. What is numerator? dx plus dy plus dz is equal to 0. This is the numerator. And once you write the numerator is equal to 0, so you on integration. So what is integration is? So what is integration is? Integration of dx plus dy plus dz is equal to c1. So integration of dx is x plus integration of dy is y plus integration of dz is z is equal to c1 so x plus y plus z is equal to c1 this is the one solution of the given partial differential equation next again use multipliers as x 1 by x 1 by y 1 by z this is another set of multipliers this is another set of multipliers so we use 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z as multipliers we get each fraction as 1 by x into dx plus 1 by y into dy plus 1 by z into dz divided by when you multiply each first term by 1 by x x become cancelled if you multiply second term by 1 by y y become cancelled if you multiply third term by 1 by z z become cancelled so remaining is y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y all the term become cancelled once again we get the denominator this is one easiest method of finding the solution so 
once the denominator becomes zero, you write numerator is equal to zero. So your numerator is one by x dx plus one by y into dy plus one by z into dz. Or this implies one by x dx plus one by y dy plus one by z dz is equal to zero. And integrating, so this is easily integrable. It is variable separable differential equation actually. And integrating we have integration of one by x dx plus integration of one by y dy plus integration of one by z is equal to log of c2. So what is integration of one by x is log x plus log y. Integration of one by is log y plus integration of one by z is log z is equal to log c2. So you apply log m plus log n plus log m plus n log m n. So you apply x y z is equal to c2. Cancel log on both sides. So log of x y z is equal to log of c2. Cancel log on both sides. X y z is equal to c2. Thus the solution of the equation is given by phi r f of x plus y plus z is equal to comma x y z is equal to zero. This is the required solution of the given differential equation. So in this way, <coughs> we can find the solution of the given differential equation for first order or linear differential equation by first you write the uh, values of first you compare with the standard equation p p plus q q is equal to r. Then you write what is value of p, what is value of q, what is value of p, what is value of q, and then you write the auxiliary equation. Then you write the auxiliary equation, and then you select two terms by applying grouping or by a multipliers. You can solve the solution of the given equation. Suppose u and v are the solutions, then phi of u comma v is the solution of the given differential equation. So in this way, we can find the solution of the given partial differential equation. Okay, thank you.